hello guys here's Ty again with another video and in this video we're going to make three different types of advertisers as you can see they're really looking great nice and they are really easy to make i'm going to show you the whole process stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do starters we are going to need philadelphia fresh case salmon onions tomatoes uh, chili flakes coriander powder garlic and lemon another type of onion cucumber and zucchini for if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and uh, for this uh, recipe we're going to need four pieces of bread and then afterwards put them together and flatten them even more just going to use our cutter cookie cutter to just like cut the middle part the part we really need to use the most so it's a little bit tricky because my cutters are plastic but it worked pretty well and our muffin form and put them as I'm showing you below or above. You can see how flat they are. And this is just about the right thickness we need. Place them aside and start with your fresh vegetables. We are going to cut um, a quarter of the onion because we don't really need that much you can as well put them in hot salty water to avoid crying during <laughs> the cutting session and to also avoid uh, the after smell of the mouth when eating raw onions it also helps now I just finished cutting my onions. I'm going to start with my tomatoes. I'm going to slice them really thin. As, in, um, as I am illustrating. But you can also choose another style of cutting them if you wish to. I just find that this one went well. what I wanted to make normally this is how I cut when I want to make kachumbari a Kenyan salad which tastes amazing now we're going to add a pinch of salt pinch of chili flakes to your tasting mix them nicely then a pinch of uh, coriander powder and then two teaspoons of lemon and if you need more, just don't hesitate to add. Depends on how you like your mixture to be. Now we're going to take oil with garlic and brush it a bit on top of our bread. We could have done this before we even place them, but uh, either way, it still works. Then put them in the oven when they are done and cover enough you place your tomato salad inside
and the smell from the garlic is really amazing it just gives it another taste then i place <laughs> small pieces of coriander leaf on top and it was ready to be served now we're going to start with our cucumber starter which is really easy we had remaining uh, tomato salad and those remaining tomato salad is what we're going to put on top of our cucumber these are really nice crunchy and really salivating they're done and ready to be served our third starter is going to be the zucchini we're going to peel them as I'm showing you they're really easy to peel and they're really easy to work with just have to peel enough then you're going to take your Philadelphia put a half a teaspoon of chili flakes or more if you like and uh, some small amount of coriander powder salt and one teaspoon of lemon actually two teaspoons of lemon and if it's less you can always add if you have avocado you can also place it to them into, into the mixture i've tried one with avocado which tasted also really nice after mixing it well you can taste it to see if you need more seasoning or to see if you have to make another one then place your salmon, smoked salmon, just as I am illustrating. Then put your Philadelphia mixture on top. And then roll them as I will show you. You can do the same to the rest of the salmon depending on how many guests you're having <laughs> and repeat the routine Really cook your zucchini two minutes each side, then remove them. And after roll your already finished salmon, just like I'm illustrating, and cut the excessive sides for it to look really pretty when serving your guests. And repeat the same process over and over again guys if you like my video don't forget to subscribe like share hit the notification bell so that when i upload another video you'll get a notification stay safe and take care